Hi, welcome to Movie Blog. My name is John Campia. This is my quick review of the new Pixar film, Wally. Now, before I go into it, let me tell you this quick little story, my story of oh, trying to see Wally. I went yesterday morning to go to see Wally, and we decided to go over to the uh, the famous El Capitan movie theater right here in Hollywood because it's a great experience to watch a movie. And there was a one o'clock showing. Went to go to the one o'clock showing, and just school buses. School buses lined up in front of the theater and like gaggles of kids coming out of the earlier show and gaggles of more kids going in. And so I asked, you know, well, uh, can I get into the one o'clock show? And they said, no, we're all sold out. I said, okay, when can we get two tickets for, for the next show? She said, the next available show is uh, 12, 20, past, you know, 20 minutes past midnight later tonight. So that threw that off. So I thought, well, where else in Hollywood can we see Wally? And I called the Arclight Theater. And sure enough, I got into their automated menuing system, and they said, yes, Wally is playing at 110 and has 13 showings today. Great. It's about a 20 minute walk. It was pretty hot in Hollywood yesterday. Walk 20 minutes to the arc light, only to get there and have them tell us, oh, we're sorry, we're not showing it here. And I'm like, but, but it said on the phone system it was showing here. And they said, uh, no, sorry, that was a mistake. There was a technical problem. So they gave me free passes to go to the other arc light theater in Sherman Oaks. And eventually, finally, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I got to see Wally. And let me tell you, it was completely worth the wait. Now, I've gone on to say, I've said several times before, Pixar is not only the best animated film studio in Hollywood right now, they are simply the best movie-making studio at all. They're 8 for 8. I mean, if you, it doesn't matter what film. They don't know how to make anything less than excellence. Toy Story, Toy Story 2, Finding Nemo, Ratatouille, The Incredibles. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. This company just makes great films. And Wally -E is the best of them. Now, let me go on and, and talk about this. Wally, -E, of course, as you've seen from commercials, is this little robot who is left behind on Earth to clean up the mess. All of humanity has abandoned Earth and gone off into space while these robotic guys, Wally, -E, are left behind to try to clean up the mess. And they figured they'd only be gone for a few years. But humanity's now been gone for 700 years. And Wally -E is the last robot of his kind on the Earth, still dutifully doing his business, going about and trying to clean up the place. And he's also very lonely, and he collects knickknacks and things that he finds around the world to kind of keep himself entertained, and his only friend is a little cockroach. And one of the big concerns going into the film that a lot of people expressed was, it doesn't look like there's any dialogue. How on earth can you have a fun film without any dialogue? And it's true, there is next to no dialogue in this film. 90% of the film is Wally -E and this other robot, Eve. And they each only ever say Wally -E and Eve. So the vast majority of the film, there's no dialogue. But let me tell you something. The animation, the character performance they brought out of Wally -E and the other robots as well were so expressive and so beautiful. It really, the whole film is a testament to the power of visual storytelling as opposed to just always relying on dialogue to tell the story. And it was beautiful. Wally -E is not only a great animated film, it might be the best sci-fi film I've seen since E.T. Now remember, good sci-fi, truly great sci-fi, is stuff that doesn't just rely on the biggest robots or the flashiest spaceships and the biggest explosions. That's all fun. But truly great sci-fi uses its medium to communicate thoughts and observations about the human condition. It is a looking glass, if you will, at the human experience through the perspective of the otherworldly or the fantastic. And Wally -E really, really does that. It's not just a cute little robot going along and having little adventures. The film makes some great science fiction esque points of view about the condition of humanity right now, even though it's being told from 700 years in the future from outer space. That was just beautiful and actually kind of inspiring to see about where humanity is. And that's a reflection on where we are right now. It's really something else. I, I can't say too much without giving away spoilers. The film's beautifully animated. It's extremely cute. I even had tears welling up in my eyes at, near the end of the film. Um, it's very, very funny. Uh, like I said, it's the best Pixar film I've seen so far. I was absolutely blown away by this movie. I have nothing negative to say about uh, Wally, -E. it's just a beautiful, breathtaking, awesome film. It is the best film of 2008 so far. Not just the best film of the summer. This is the best film of 2008 so far. And I'm going to throw a fit 
if this film doesn't get nominated for Best Picture come the end of the year, it's incredible. Overall, I'm going to give Wally a 9.5 out of 10. For the movie blog, I'm John Campia.